Well, now we are back with a story you will see only on 10. There are charges of racism in Isle of Wight County. This started with an offhanded comment about the South rising again at a meeting of the Isle of Wight County Board of Supervisors. Then came the emails that cemented the feelings that one board member is way out of line. Andy Fox joins us now with the jokes that turned out to be insulting. Andy? Yeah, it's been a tough week in Isle of Wight County. These are the emails, and we warn you that they are disturbing. And if you look at them, you would likely find them offensive, racist, insulting to First Lady Michelle Obama. Tonight, the NAACP is outraged. Racism is still alive and well in Isle of Wight County. Dottie Harris is with the NAACP. She is outraged over these emails, asking, can you guess what this is? Michelle Obama's high school reunion. Michelle Obama offered $50 to pose nude by National Geographic. It hurts you, doesn't it? It's hurting. It's hurting. It's hurtful. Do you know who emailed those jokes around the county? Isle of Wight County Board of Supervisors Vice Chairman Byron Bailey. Mr. Bailey. I'm Andy Fox. Ten on your side confronted Supervisor Bailey. Michelle Obama was offered $50 by National Geographic. This is just a joke, Andy. I yeah. mean, it's not anything but, serious. Yeah, but this is a joke that is offensive to many people that you represent. You're an elected public official. Sure, sure. And, and you can make it sound as bad as you want. I asked Bailey, why did he send these out? These were just forwarded, Andy. They were I know they were, but they were forwarded from you, sir. But in the email he forwarded, he took the time to write, this is just too funny. Is this funny? In, in second thought, no, it's not. I mean, you're an elected public official. Sure. And many people would be offended by this. I understand. The Isle of Wight County NAACP deeply troubled by Bailey's actions. To know that one of our public officials take this garbage to be a joke. Amazingly, Bailey was first emailed the racially insensitive material by elected school board member Herbert DeGroft. He was not home and did not return our call. I mean, but this is what's most disturbing right here. I agree, and I probably didn't even look at it. I probably just followed it. But, but you took time to say it's too funny, so you did look at it. Mm. On many of our questions, he just had nothing to say about it. He does say he's done a lot for the county. We'll have that part of the story at 6, but it certainly is a very troubling development in his career leading Isle of Wight County. Now, remember, these emails were sent to Board of Supervisor members. They were sent to the county attorney, the county administrator. Tonight at 6, what the county attorney had to say about it, what the NAACP wants Vice Chairman Bailey to do, and what Bailey said on Monday that first raised the issue of racism. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.